Hello, Bluetooth. I'm the one and only Aspound Gleason. As you can see, this is another PC tutorial. Not quite, though. This is for Desmium. This is for fourth gen Pokemon games and or any DS game you want to play on your computer. This does not include 3DS games, for warning. And this is how to run the application as well on the optimum settings without any lag or frame scripts or anything. So first thing you want to do is open up your browser, type in Desmium, just press enter, go to their, let's see, go to Desmium, and you want to go to download. And at the bottom, there should be a mysterious Japanese, whatever, just click on that. This is the faster version. You don't have to translate, you just click on right here. And just click on the latest one, it shows you when it was updated and everything. Don't worry, this is not a virus, this is just the fastest version they have possible. It's just the Japanese person took the recompiled version and made his own version of the emulator. And might I say, it's extremely fast, it uses a little bit more processing power, but it's well worth it, in my opinion. So once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is open it up. So let's see, should be this one right here. So what you want to do is you want to go to Extract to Desmium, whatever, and you want to open it up. You can see it has all the resource files. And in the last video, I showed you how to do VBA and check if your computer was 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, I'm going to show you again how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go to where it says this PC. You want to right-click, click Properties, and it should come up saying right here either it's 64-bit or 32-bit. There's also another way to check it that's a little bit easier if you can't find this PC. You go to wherever your files are located on your hard drive or solid state. And if you see a uh, program files times 86, your computer is 64-bit. If you don't, then it is 32-bit. So now let's continue back to the tutorial. There we go. So first thing you want to do is you want to open it up. And you can see it's like a tiny little window and yada yada, right? And what you want to do is you want to go open ROM. Actually, no, you don't want to open ROM. That's a false advertisement. Okay, so you want to go to view, LCD layout. I prefer it on horizontal. And I also prefer having oh they don't have it on this version well they usually have it having uh most important screen on the top which is a little bit more convenient when you're recording because they'll always make the biggest screen you know the proper one um, if you don't like the emulator moving you could always click lockdown i like to have mine on 2.5 times size but honestly 1.5 will be perfect for you guys uh, for screen size don't tamper with that stuff screen gap nothing magnification filter so if you're if your emulator is running with Quite a bit of processing power left over, so you, you know it's fast and you can speed it up, whatever, right? You can add a filter which makes the game look a lot better. The ones I recommend are three times BRZ or Super Eagle or two times Sal or even EPX Plus. All those are my favorite. Uh, you could use high quality, uh, high quality 2x, I believe is my favorite. Uh, you don't have to show toolbar; it makes it a little bit more convenient. Then again, as I said, it's my personal preference for that. Hey. Frame skip. I don't need to disable cheats. You might need them for hard gold and silver. Okay, for frame skip. If your computer, if your emulator is not running fast enough, you can't put the frame skip on two. The problem with this though is it does make the the visual quality a little bit choppy, so the game will be you know a little bit stuttery, but it'll be running a lot smoother. So it'll be skipping two frames every 30 frames, which is basically 30, 28 frames a second compared to 30. So that is a quite a few less frames and you might notice the difference but as i said it it does make it run a little bit smoother and you go to emulation settings make sure enable advanced bus level timing is enabled and you want to enable this cpu emulation mode if your game isn't running that fast you want to have the number on 100 if it's running you know little tons of speed extra you can put it on one right and then you want to go to 3D settings, not sound settings, 3D settings. And you want to make sure you disable edge marking. And you don't need, hmm, uh, only works in OpenGL, so that doesn't matter. That's only if you're recording it, it removes like the random black dots and fixes the edge marking on it as well, so you don't even have to have edge marking. And if your emulator is running on, you know, processing power to spare, you can enable this, you know, special filter he has right here, which basically what it does is it's a shaders. So you know how you have the regular filter? This is a shaders for any 3G object. So it makes it look a crap ton better, but it does require a lot of CPU power. Like my computer can barely handle it while recording and streaming and everything. And my computer's pretty good. So 
Yeah, you just want to set it up to that. And you want to go to, let's see, firmware. Nah, you can just put your personal settings there. That's just the firmware for your actual DS. Microphone doesn't matter. Uh, you can in, you can put a Game Boy Advance slot. So if you have any, you know, Game Boy Advance games, you can put them there. You just put in the little ROM file, and you can pull Pokemon from there. You could, you know, transfer for, through Pal Park and stuff. You can unlock certain Pokemon in certain places once you get the Pokedex, National Dex. Uh, save type, doesn't matter. ROM loading, doesn't matter. Control to fig. I like to switch this to like that. There we go. Uh, hotkey config, I like putting fast forward to space. And I also, where is it? Display method. Let's see. If, As I said, if your computer has hardware power to spare, you can enable filter on here. This is a default filter, which I think makes it look really good. Uh, if you're trying to record, you could always just go to the top and you can go to emulate oh, 3D settings and put it to OpenGL. But pretty much all the default settings are whatever, the, you know, the default ones are pretty good. Um, if your computer is really slow on this, you can use CPU power saving. This will reduce the amount of CPU usage, but the game will be a lot slower. So the game will be slower, but your computer won't heat up as fast, your computer will be perfectly fine with everything. It just lowers the priority of Desmium itself within the actual internal components so it doesn't affect the game too much. Once you have all that done, I'm just gonna go to filter because I like filters. And I'm gonna open a ROM just to show you guys. I like how it finds it automatically, that's cool. Uh, let's go. I haven't done any Pokemon Let's or um, Mario Let's Play, so. But yeah, as I said, it makes the game look a lot better. That's just my opinion. But it should work. Oh, did I? Oh, just switch. Config. Control. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, it works perfectly fine. If you're having a trouble and your emulator isn't opening properly, you can just go to Google, search up DirectX. Here. Yeah, so you just Google Direct X, go to the first link you see, and then click the download button. Once you've downloaded, just install it, and that'll, de that'll install the default drivers you need for your PC. And this is pretty much it. As I said, it's not that really CPU intensive, as you can see if I pull up my task manager. Well, actually, this one's a lot more CPU intensive, but I am recording as well, so it's using 45%. <laughs> and then XSplit's only using it. Yeah. A lot less. Everyone says XSplit uses so much. I'm much like, XSplit's using less than my browser. And I'm recording. I love XSplit. I, I honestly do. But yeah. Hmm. Let's play a little bit. Here I go. I haven't played this game forever. I don't even remember how to play. Oh god. How do you spell? Isn't it a whole day button? Hold this button. Oh, I press the space button. But yeah, see, as I said, you can speed up quite a bit with the space button. There we go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye!